Hey everybody, it's Grady at Twin Creek Audio. I went on vacation recently, and during my vacation, I happened to find myself in Memphis, Tennessee for a day. I went to the Stax Museum. I brought back some clips, some photos to share with you. I don't have everything that's at the Stax Museum in this video, but a taste of it. Main thing that I thought was really cool was the Spectrasonics console that came out of Ardent Studios. That console was used to record such greats as ZZ Top, Led Zeppelin, and of course Big Star. They have a little plaque at the bottom of the console in the museum with a timeline of a lot of the records that were recorded using that equipment, which I thought was really cool. So I hope you enjoy some of what I've collected when I went to the Stax Museum, and I highly recommend you check that out if you're ever in Memphis, Tennessee. The Mississippi River. Stacks Museum of American Soul Music. Ray Charles. Recreating the famous cover of Abbey Road, 1970. I don't know what this tape machine is. Scully 8 track from Stack Studios. From the console from Ardent Studios. And Gary Stoll was me and Nicole. Thank you very much. There's that 8 track Scully. That 2 track Scully. And the Spectrasonics console. All the routing switches lit up. I think over on the right are the taper turns. ZZ Top, Big Star, The Staple Singers, Leon Russell, Freddie King, Booker T and the MGs, James Taylor. All right. More Big Star. That is a very big star. Isaac Hayes custom Cadillac El Dorado and there's Gavin walking up to it. E. That's me. Robert King, Flying B. Lucy. That's cool. <laughs> if you recognize that Otis Redding's jacket James Alexander's <laughs> precision bass